look at so we look at finishing mechanics of the reverse triangle last time. Let's look at some possible setups into that position. Now we go from so say from a close guard position. Was Guy able to get sleeve control? Obviously from here I'm gonna swim inside. Guard's probably making a rib cage control. I'm gonna swim inside and control his triceps with my arms, but my arms are on the inside. I'm gonna open up my closed guard. I'm gonna turn on to my left side and I'm gonna bring my knees. Feet on the hips and I've got both my knees and the shoulders. From that position, I'm going to turn on to my side and I'm going to bring my right foot in at Carl's right hip. So right foot to right hip. And now I'm going to use that to move my hip away so I can physically keep control of Carl's arm and windshield wiper my foot to the inside. Now we talked about when we were going for this triangle, this is the, the, the tightest of the five. But I need deep body mechanics. I need the back of my knee below the car's ear. And I also need to make sure that the shoulder is not inside the triangle. So from that position, as I bring that leg over, I start to curl down. And now, I can underhook car's leg. My knee's coming through. I'm going to start to lock the triangle. To get super tight, my hand comes underneath. From that position, I do two movements. I leg press, my leg is if you're in the machine in the gym, and I leg curl down with this one. Okay? So it's that movement there. Okay? Sorry. So let's go again. So we're going to close guard, guys. So here. The other car is going to be postured, so I'm going to break them down and get tricep grips. Open up my legs, you can go either side you want, turning on to my side and bringing my knees to the inside and my feet to the knees. Okay? Pushing on Carl's hips with my feet, I'm turning on to my hip and I'm going to bring my right instep, I'm just going to hook in his right hip. But he's still very close to me, so I'm going to use that leg to move my body back, keeping his right shoulder where it is. The windshield wiper of my foot over, paying attention to where the back of my knee wrapped around his left jugular. If it's high like this, when you come into the triangle, like I said, this is the tightest of the triangles, but the worst if you have if you bad body mechanics. So once we get into our position and I break him down and I've got inside control and my foot comes through and I use that to move my body out. As that comes through, I'm underhooking the leg. This gives me angle so I can eliminate the shoulder. Notice the way my calf is right across the shoulder line and my knee's moving from here to under the armpit. As I go to put it on, my underhook comes out this side, and that's okay. Um, just do it on the same way. <coughs> Break them down. Okay. Get out. Break them through. Break them through. Get angle. Guards in the seated position, and we're here playing the whole game. I can kind of pull them forward or butt scoop into this position here. It's the same stuff. From there, I just bring my foot through and bring my knee in. Okay. Create that space. The leg comes over. Leg attention to back of my knee below us here. And then cutting out the shoulder by getting perpendicular. And now from there, I'm going to Position, put this through, go from a, a seated guard to a supine guard, create the space, bring this over, and immediately from that position, start blocking my triangle. If you've got connections on even before you triangle, 
Yeah. 